Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're doing fine. Today we're going to learn uh, the basics of playing the guitar. Um, we're going to go through what is a guitar, what are strings, what are frets, other parts of the guitar. Um, we're going to do some exercises. So for example, the first one will be uh, playing all the strings uh, with fingers and then learning how to hold the guitar and playing strings with a pick, basically. So, uh, this what is a guitar here? Um, it's a Fender light guitar. Um, what is a guitar? Basically, it's um, a string instrument. You've got the strings and you've got the adapters. So, basically, what it is the electric guitar is a type of guitar. Actually, um, a acoustic guitar is a guitar that doesn't have any adapters. It's just its body, which is this bit, is um, hollow and it's made of wood. And this one, the, the, this one makes sound uh, only by listening to these adapters. Basically, it's producing um, waves, electromagnetic waves from the strings since they're uh, made out of steel or copper, not sure. And then they connect to the adapters and they produce sounds. So yeah, a guitar is uh, basically a string instrument. Uh, or strings. Strings are basically those six things over here. And you'll see that they are all ringing when you touch them. Um, what are frets? So each string, each of the six strings, it has... Um, you can play an open note, which is just a sound that a string makes. And then you see these bars over here. They're basically um, shorting the length of the string, of the sound that is being played. So the higher I go, the higher the note becomes. So if I press on the first fret, if I play it... So you can hear a higher note. So the note is coming up. A note is basically the sound that a string makes. And those frets, whenever, they're, whenever you're pressing the string, uh, as I said, it's, it's going to shorten the, the the part of the string that actually vibrates. So, so the only thing that's going to vibrate is from your finger here up until the bridge. This is called the bridge. And this bit here, it's not going to ring at all. If you, if you press the string, it's not going to ring. Um, yeah, so... Other parts, yeah. So, as I mentioned, this is the bridge, this is where all the strings come out. Usually, with uh, when you're changing strings, you're putting the strings from here, they're gonna come out here, and then you're gonna put them over here and tighten them. Um, I hope that doesn't happen too often. Um, or these bits, these bits are usually the volume of the guitar, basically, those electromagnetic adapters, their volume, their sensitivity, and their tone, which is basically the the amount of highs and lows that will come out of the guitar as a sound, basically like a timbre of the voice of the guitar. And this bit here is basically telling you, it's got five steps, and it's basically telling you which adapter to use. So if you're in the middle, it's going to use the middle one. If you're on the left, it's going to use the front one. And in between, it's going to use both of them. Um, I usually like the one that's that's using both front adapters for this guitar because it sounds more natural, more acoustic. Um, yeah, let's get back to frets because I didn't mention something. So basically, if you see the guitar, it has this one has like 23, 24 frets, and yeah, this one is the 12th fret. They're basically starting from 3, 5, 7, 9, 12, 15, 17, 19, 21. Yeah, so this one has 21 frets. Another thing, yeah, we've got the body, as I mentioned, this is the body of the guitar, and this, the wooden thing, is the uh, head, uh, the, the neck, the neck of the guitar, and this is its head, so this is the head, the neck, and body. Um, you plug in the cable over here, it's a jack, I think 3.5 millimeters, and you've got these two, uh, where you can put in your belt. And that's how you would like, hold your guitar, right? Um, 
I think that's most of it. Yeah, uh, except for this bit. So if I turn this, it's gonna lower my string. And if I turn it back up, it's gonna bring it back to the note that I want. Uh, I was thinking maybe we should go through how to tune a guitar, but we'll do that in a, another lesson. Uh, the other thing that I was thinking, uh, yeah, the first thing that we're gonna do today is basically playing open strings. So if you're sitting or not, depending on how you like to play, uh, sitting up straight or you can basically just sit down. So the first lesson that we're gonna go through is basically playing with fingers. I usually like to use the thump on the sixth and fifth string and my index or middle finger for the other four strings, basically four, three, two, one. String one is the um, the lower end string that produces the higher end note and the exit string is basically the, the one that's on top, the one that's the largest, the fattest. <laughs> Okay, so a lesson that I usually teach my students is just playing open string with an um, index finger, so like pulling it, just just giving them that feel of uh, feeling the guitar, basically. And what I usually do, uh, I make my students just go through each string so that it familiarize themselves with the note that it's actually producing. And the other thing is that you might want to get used to uh, holding your hand on top of the guitar so that it doesn't move. For example, you want to you put your index finger on first a lower string and just play sixth string, fifth, and then when you switch to fourth, you want to put your thumb there and use your index finger to play four, three, two, one. Um, yeah, that's basically the exercise I usually would teach first. Six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, six, five, four, three, two, one. Usually I do it with just the uh, index finger. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, five, four, three, two, one. By holding the thumb somewhere so it doesn't move, your hand doesn't move. And yeah, just going from one till six and from six to one. The next thing uh, that you might want to learn is how to pick, to hold the pick. Basically what I do is use my index finger, um, twist it like this, and put on my pick and put the, th the thumb on top. So it looks like this. Uh, that's what I usually do. Uh, everybody has like different styles. I've said in JPF will use something like this. Um, I usually do this one because it's the simplest. So what I do is do this and then put it on top and put my uh, thumb. So it should look like this. Okay, and then I'll do the same thing basically on playing from first string till the sixth string. But what I usually do is put my uh, pinky somewhere on the guitar, so my my whole arm is basically really, really um, tight, and I can't really move it away. So we do one, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. I usually play it as like this. From top to bottom, and we can also play it the other way around, uh, from bottom to top. Um, yeah, that's the lesson that I'll teach. And the other one is just pressing the frets. So let's choose one string. I'll usually choose the sixth string because it's the because it's the easiest to pick from top to bottom and I'll hold on to the first string, just in case. And then we can do press 3 and 5. Uh, so yeah, we can do open string, fret 3, 
fret 5. All we can do, but I would think for a beginner it would be better to just use the index finger. That's a small bit of water. Um, you can always play that after you learn how to press frets. So yeah, again, you use your fingers to hold on tight to the guitar, on first string for example, or, or on the body of the guitar. Then you can use your, I uh, usually, or you, you can use that one. And the other thing is you can uh, just hit open string on the uh, sixth string. Open string means, you know, pressing any frets. And when you press on the fret, you're gonna see it, you're gonna hear a higher note and even higher than fifth fret. So zero, three, five, zero, three, six, five, zero, three, five, three, zero. That's the smoke and water riff. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next lesson.